Last night, Jason Charles Miller concert was a bit shorter than I expected, or at least his bit was. There was quite a few different bands playing throughout the night. And I thought he was a headline act. Uh, he was his name on the ticket and everything, although there was people playing after him as well. But once he finished, uh, he only played about six, seven songs, I think. And he just sort of finished and left, and that was it, the encore. So that's what I was waiting on. I was going to get a wee bit of footage of the encore later on, but I yeah, played maybe 30, 40 minutes, and that was it. But it was still a really good gig. I'll see him down in San Diego if I can. I'm not sure what night he's playing. But still enjoyable and good to catch up with people as well that I haven't seen in about a year. Uh, and when I say catch up, I didn't actually talk very much at all throughout the night. I was just jet lagged. My brain was... I couldn't remember people's names. I was talking to people and couldn't remember names. But anyway, um, uh, it's Sunday afternoon now. I'm here in Settle Vita. I'm going to go for a bit of a run and stop off at the Japanese Garden. I figured out where it is. So I'm going to stop off there and see if I can take a look around before I get back. Well, finally found them. So Japanese Gardens. Very, very nice. It's actually a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be a little small area, but three pound admission, three uh, dollar admission. So I'm going to take a look around here. Some really nice shapes to the trees here. But it's, it's actually not natural um, as far as you can see from this. The bamboo things tie the branches in position so they grow straight out. It's nice and flat, but they are beautiful. a single tree or plant or anything out of place here. Um, everything has meaning. Um, the waterfall here. Uh, the three levels of the waterfall represent heaven, man and earth. This building here is uh, the Abor overlooking the lake. The rustic Sukaya style is a place to rest, meditate and view the garden. So, even the trees as well. Uh, the weeping willow here. Some over here. So, the weeping willow tree is a the weeping willow tree is a sim is symbolic of the female persona, kind, loving and bending with the situation. In the same way, the black pines represent the male persona, warlike, strong and unbending. The Zigzag Bridge, or Yachuashi, uh, the idea was derived from the famous 11th century tale of Icy, which contains a description of a beautiful site in which a marsh covered with irises is traversed by a zigzag bridge. And here it is, a Japanese garden, so I'm really happy that I found it this time. I spent a lot more time here than I expected to. See Tillman Water Recognition Plant. It's just like increasing the amount of bugs that are in the secondary aerator tanks. It's a really informational video. Uh, it was a water recognition plant they built 
but it was built before. The Japanese garden was built just straight across the road, so it's a Japanese garden there. And then the water reclamation plant on that side. So it creates uh, what they call chlorinated uh, irrigation water. It doesn't make drinking water. But it's used in a lot of man-made lakes around here and the Japanese garden. Cricket over there. I don't think I've ever seen anyone play cricket in America before. So, and they're playing Indian music as well. It must be mostly Indian cricket players. But yeah, that's one of the places that's irrigated by that recycled water. Uh, there we go, recycled water. Do not drink. 